Welcome back. I'm trying to complete every quest in old school RuneScape without the use of guides, plugins, or the wiki on an Iron Man. Oh yeah, and this is my first Iron Man. This is unguided. Over the last four episodes we've been completing all the requirements for Monkey Madness 1. We also now have a ring of life, overhead prayers and prayer potions to help us face the upcoming challenge. There's only one thing left to do. Let's get into it. We start this quest by talking to King Nano Shireen. He tells us that after we defeated Gloff's demon, he sent his strongest battalion, the 10th squad of the Royal Guard, to oversee the decommission of Gloff's shipyard. Although they've yet to return and the king is worried. He'd like us to visit the shipyard and investigate the whereabouts of his missing squad. Monkey Man is chapter one, in which our hero finds himself drawn back into Gloff's web of deception and deceit. Let's go. Gloff, Gloff, Gloff. Right, let's, I guess, just head straight over to um, Ramja. I think we can fly there. I think we can take the little plane upstairs. I'm gonna grab some anti-poisons I have from my herb law training. I feel like last time I was there, I got poisoned. I'm not taking any weapons. Maybe I should actually, let's grab a weapon just in case, because I genuinely do not know when danger might appear. Right, let's see if we can head up and get, catch the plane to, yeah, we can, cool. Gandius, sweet. And the lumber yard is just up there. I'm on a special mission for King Narnad of the Gnomes. Show him the uh, royal seal. Anyway, please step inside. Right, cool. Now then, who do we talk to? There was a henchman dude somewhere. Let's talk to this person, this little gnome. Big Gloff sent you, no. He's been forced to resign by the king. Forced to resign? Anyway, I'm here on a separate mission. I'm investigating the mysterious disappearance of the 10th squad, King Narnode's royal guard. I know nothing about them. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so he sounds suspicious. Well, we have had some seriously strong southerly winds of late. They may have been blown off course during the flight. I should see Percy to the decommission. You should report to the king immediately. Okay, this guy's obviously not on our team. Is that Gloff? His name's GLO. I don't know what that means. Uh, it's telling me to go back to King, Ar king Narnode, but obviously this is a bit suspect. But I'm going to do it anyway, because that's what I'm being told to do. So let's head back to the king. I'm investigating the shipyard. I met a gnome with guys by the name of Car Karanok. Do you recognise it? The name sounds a little familiar, but it's nobody I know personally. He calls himself a gnome liaison officer. Never Mind that. Do you find anything about my 10th squad? Karanok suggests they were blown off course by extremely southerly winds. Don't have any other information right now. Very well. Well, I'll now prepare some orders. You must convey them to my new high tree guardian, Dero. Okay, he's writing a bit of paper. Well, I'll find him. I'm attending to business somewhere on the Grand Tree. Okay, cool. Apparently, there's a guy called Dero somewhere. I guess we just go on each side and have a little look around. That little Rometty as a gnome child. Heckle Funch. There he is, Dero. Looks like a ninja. I'm an adventurer. I'm currently service with your king. I am the one that helped defeat Gloff. I hope you'll find me more an honest replacement. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you're Gloff, mate. Or hey, this quest line's going. I've been asked to give you orders from the King Nano. I hope you feel like a quest adventurer. Why is that? You're gonna get one. Hoo -hoo. What's happening? Tell me what the orders say. Given your recent performance of uncovering and neutralizing a threat at the very extremes of the gnome hierarchy, the king has decreed that you are to undertake a reconnaissance mission. Where to? You are to be taken far to the south of Karamja, further than any gnome has purposely traveled before. You are to investigate Karanok's claim that Garrox, that Garkor's squad were blown off course. Okay. You must really have impressed the king in the past. Okay, interesting. So, talk to me. What lies south of Karamja? A large atoll populated by monkeys. How will I travel there? It is my responsibility to make arrangements for your mission. We will shortly visit a colleague of mine who will be accompanying you. I'll assign a gnome agent to travel with you. That's cool. I'll get my own little gnome agent. Who is Garkor? Sergeant Garkor holds the command of the 10th squad. As a soldier, he's extremely able. If his men are in trouble, he'll be tirelessly working to save them. Okay, that's who I'm looking out for. And then Karanok. Let's talk about Karanok. I never heard of him. According to the report you made to the king, he's a gnome liaison officer at the eastern Karamja shipyard. Yeah, we know that, but I still don't believe him. I reckon he's I reckon he's evil. Let's put some money on that. Karanok to be evil. That's a bet I'm willing to make. Karanok to be Gloff. Also probably a bet I'd be willing to make, to be honest. What is a gnome liaison officer exactly? The position Gloff introduced. What a surprise. Okay, right, we've spoken to him. Exhaust all those options. We understand our quest ahead. And now Dero is going to introduce us to his colleague. Uh, he's going to help us. So let's uh, let's uh, let's find out who it is. His name is Flight Commander Wadar. Let's go now and meet Wadar. For security reasons, I must ask you to wear a blindfold. Okay. Right, here we are in some flight room, which is pretty cool. There's Wadar. Right, let's talk to Wadar. I'm not authorized to talk to you. What? Oh, here we go. I accidentally clicked travel. Let me introduce you to Wadar. Good name. Greetings, High Tree Guardian. Is that what they call me? That's cool. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> that's that's, that's, that's this, this dude there. Got confused then. I'm just a visitor. Not just any old visitor. This is the person who exposed Gloff and defeated his demon. No more demons left here. Ah, I don't believe you. You sound a bit sus as well. Now on a secret mission for the king. When reinitialization has been completed, you are to fly to the south of Karamja and accompany him on the mission. We are no close reinitializing. The code is too hard. It's likely the only person to do this is Gloff. So there's some sort of code that we have to break. Yes, sir. Very well. Notify me when I manage to reinitialize. Okay, cool. I'm going to You'll have to wait until this is complete. All right, let's talk to this guy and see if we can help. Where's the code? The code must be entered at the red control panel by the wall over there. 
Red control panel by the wall over there. Am I blind? That's the exit. What control panel by the wall over there? Christ alive, I can't even find the control panel. That's embarrassing. Oh, there it is. Alright, let's look. Open this up. I remember this. Oh, fucking hell. I do remember this. It's one of these puzzles. Okay. So we've got to solve this, I think. This is one of those ones, and I'm not very good at these. What's this crate here? There's a crate right next to it. Oh, hello. Spare controls. Do you wish to take one? What does that do? Oh, okay, cool. So I can actually look at what it looks like. Right, well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, actually. I'm going to take a picture of this on my phone. That way I can keep looking back at it without having to click on this. Because I think that's going to be a nightmare. It'd be easy just to look at it on my phone. So let's just have a little snap of that. Now, obviously, you guys can't see this, but I do have the completed thing in my hand. So now we have to operate this thing and figure out what goes where. So I think with these things, you're meant to do it like row by row or something, or like column by column. Let's try and do row by row. Uh, da, 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 da. Nice, we got it there. I don't actually know what I just did, but it worked. Right, now we need to just go. Yes! You oh, can get in, let's go. Okay. As you slide the final piece into place, you begin to hear a low rumbling sound. I am proud of myself. I did that in 15 minutes. That is not bad at all. That is not bad. I am usually crap at those things. Little bit of luck, little bit of strategy, but we did it. Right, now let's talk to Wadar. So my OBS just crashed. Um, essentially, we we completed the puzzle, you saw that. Then split to Wadar, and he's gonna take us to Karamja. So I just went to the bank real quick just to drop off my graceful because I didn't want to lose any of that. Um, I've got a prayer potion, I've got my ring of life. I've got some bone bolts and my crossbow just in case I get into some trouble. But I have no idea really what to expect is. I've got some food as well. So we now need to go and find them. I believe they're probably up here. I actually can't remember how I got there. Oh, downstairs, was it? Was it to talk to him over here again? Here he is. Travel. Here we go. You wear a blindfold there at hand you. Place again. Right, let's talk to Wadar. You should stock up well on food before our journey. I can only carry provisions for myself. Good stuff. But be careful of local fauna too. I've heard it bites far worse than any noise they make. Right, cool. I think we're good to go. Let's go. Just making sure I haven't got anything I want to lose. No. Right, let's go. Okay. So we are here, apparently somewhere. Where the... Right, we're not on an island quite far away, but we're next to Apatol here, which I assume is the place we need to go to. Oh, is that where you get... Oh, I didn't know that was down there. This is where you get... um. Void equipment from I can't remember what this is called now, but this is the mini game. All right, anyway, getting distracted. Let's talk away though. Where are we? I'm not sure. We appear to have landed where the tenth squad crashed. The number of known gliders is, is correct. Oh, geez, I didn't even spot those. Crash gliders are everywhere. Right. Unfortunately for them, it appears that none of the gliders. Oh, okay. I thought none of the people actually survived either. Did our glider survive? Of course. Of course, it survived. Look at him. Wadar, that big chin. What should we do now? During our descent, I know it's a large populated island to the west. I suggest we try and make our way there. Okay, cool. So probably have to talk to Lumdo. But yeah, who is this guy? Do you recognize the gnome on the beach? If I recall correctly, which I probably do, he's Lumdo of the 10th squad. I imagine he's been left to guard the gliders. Oh, okay, cool. So he's of the 10th squad. Let's go talk to him. Am I right inspecting your Lumdo? Uh, I might be. Do you have any way to prove that you are who you say you are? Gnome Royal Seal? Sorry for my distrust. No worries. All right, where are the rest of the squad? Where's your sergeant? Let me begin at the beginning, human. Lumdo tells us they were in fact blown off course whilst trying to decommission Gloff's old shipyard. He continues to tell us that once crashed, they gathered enough wood to fashion two boats to take across to the atoll to the west. Lumdo's been tasked with staying with the gliders on the beach. We ask him to take us across, but due to his task, he can't. Wadar pulls rank on Lumdo and orders him to take us across the water to the atoll. We also see a cutscene where Karanok, the gnome liaison officer we met in the shipyard, is talking to the shipyard foreman. It turns out Karanok is in fact working with Gloff to continue the building of the ships for Gloff's planned invasion. Right. Bit of drama there. Oh, and we're on the island. Chapter 2, in which our hero finds himself engaging in severe quantities of monkey business. So, I'm now just on a beach, and it just says Chapter 2. There is literally no instruction, which is great. Let's have a look at the map real quick. There's a route that looks like inwards here, and there's a hut over there. And there's also a dungeon down here, so I'm going to run. Are we just from right to left? See what's what. There's a bird. There's a bamboo ladder. I might climb down here, because it's the first thing I've come across. See what's going on down here. I'm getting attacked by something. There's also monkey zombies here. I don't think I want to go this way, I'm not gonna lie. Let's forget that for now. God, everything is aggressive here. I'm gonna turn that off. I'm make my way to this hut over here. Maybe there's a gnome here that could tell me something. Oh, what's going on? There's some planks that I will grab. What was that noise? Oh, that was my poison resistance. Okay, so there's a couple of planks here. I guess I just have to go this way, right? Little walk has a door here. All right, let's go to the bamboo gate. Good lord, I've just been shot. Am I dead? Oh no, okay, I remember this. Yeah, no. 
you get taken inside, right? You've been hit by poison arrows and knocked out. A newcomer. I say, let me be the first to welcome you to Apisol. But I see you've already met the welcoming party. Right, so this looks like, oh my god, I don't look healthy. Um, let's drink that to start off with. So we've got what looks like part of the 10th squad in here. We've got a guy called Limo, let's talk to him. I'm in service of King Narnode, sent in to locate the missing 10th squad of the Royal Guard. Yeah, this is them, so they've got Limo in here. How long have you been here? Not too long, the jail cards keep us insane every now and then too. Isn't that right, Bunko? Bunkdo. Monk though. Remember the time when they got all confused when changing shifts? That's going to be relevant. Trafaji and Abarab. They're as dense as bricks. They do give mighty punches though. Indeed, my back is still a little sore. What can we do for you? Oh, I suppose I'll help you help you escape. You quite like it in here. Bantar. To be fair, human, you're not too much help stuck in there. Why do I get out? You can try picking the lock on your door. Watch out for the guards though. We've been trying to pick ours, but we haven't been able to do so yet. Okay. So it looks like we can pick the lock. This is the two people and they change shifts apparently and that's when you have to get out. Let's try and pick this lock. Oh, I'm out. Let's run, let's run. Fuck, let's go back, let's go back. I'm gonna get caught, aren't I? Okay, I can't go back into the cell. I'm now out, and this guy's gonna come get me. Oh, there's a spider here. So when they switch is the way to get it, I think. I'm gonna hide behind this pillar. I really hope he don't come down here. Okay, he's now turned his back on me. I think I'm gonna have to wait for him to go up this way, probably. Yep, let's follow him out. Fuck, okay, don't get close to him. Okay, you can't get close to him. We learned that, that's good to know. Oh, jeez, he just punched me through the wall. Bloody hell, all right. But I think I can get out if I just don't get near him. He's gonna go this way now, I think. Yeah, he is, he's going that way. Oh, fucking hell, I've mistimed it. Yeah, okay, so he's coming now. Right, so I need to stand here and wait and don't get too close to him. Then I should be able to run out. Oh, that thing's not gonna attack me when I get out there. Or maybe I can just pick lock on their door. Oh, these spiders are pissing me off. Right, let's try and pick lock on this guy's door, get him out. Oh, fuck, he's coming back. Oh. So he walks up once and then back down again. That's interesting. Now is he gonna leave? Yeah, now he's leaving, right? Now let's go. Oh, that much time. Okay, I couldn't do it in time. Let's get out of here. I don't know if I have to try and get these guys out. I assume so. I've been caught and jailed four times. That's good to know. Because I don't know what I would do as soon as I get out of here. That's why I'm thinking I need to break them lot out. Well, there's, a, there's a gnome there called Karam. This spider is pissing me off. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, I can't get him out, so I'm gonna run. I'm gonna try and get out. Must I have a second? Oh, I don't know what just happened. I think I got out. I mean, I got punched, but I think it kind of bugged out a little bit and I got through. And I started getting attacked by this dude. Um, Now what? Oh, God. Fucking hell, this is attacking me. Let's get some prayer on. That's some damage. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm going to hide behind here for a second and just think. I just saw a little ninja dude, a little ninja gnome, who like looked invisible when he was, there he is, Karam. I don't know if I meant to talk to him, but there's like all these things that are going to attack me. There's nothing in my quest log either. I don't know if I had to break these guys out. I wonder if I can talk to them through the wall. No. Oh, it's not, I just saw another one, just here. I definitely just saw a ninja, like invisible gnome walking around here. Let's wait a second and hopefully he'll come back. There he is. Karam. Who are you? Karam, Temp Squad, Royal Guard, High Assassin at your service. That's pretty cool. How do you remain unseen? Here we go. This is what I want. I've been gifted by Zuknok, our squad mage. I've saved his life on a number of occasions. Yeah, is there any way I could be like that? Your best chance is to hide in grass. Okay. Um, what are you doing here? Thinking of a way to free my friends. In the meantime, I'm helping those who further my cause. Okay, how can you be everywhere? I move quickly. Right, this guy hasn't told me anything other than staying in the grass, so I don't really know what to do. See, nothing's changed in the old quest guide. I might run around this way, see what's going on down there, because I can't go through the town because I'll get attacked by all of these lot, unless I can kind of sneak it like this long grass. That guy's looking at me, but he can't throw anything at me. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna risk it. I reckon this long grass is kind of saving me, maybe. Yeah, they can't throw anything whilst I'm in the grass. Fuck that, they can. Start launching stuff at me. Oh, there's a gnome. Oh, it's Garkor. Yes, fucking found him. All right, okay, cool. This is the sergeant, dude. Hello. After talking to Garkor, we find out that he's in sporadic communication with King Narnode and has asked for a human in assistance with his plan. He tells us there's more going on than we first thought, but doesn't yet elaborate. First, he needs to break out the rest of his squad out of the jail. He's been listening to Awawogi, the self-proclaimed ruler of this island, and to break the squad out with minimum casualties, he needs a monkey working with us. And this is where we come in. For we'll not be recruiting a monkey, instead disguising me as a monkey, to infiltrate the village. He tells us to visit his mage Zuknok. He'll be able to help us disguise ourselves as a monkey. All we know now about Zuknok's whereabouts is that he's working somewhere below the Apatol. Somewhere beneath the Apatol? I mean, it's probably like a dungeon or something. Is it this? Oh, please tell me it's not that. It probably is that, isn't it? I have to go back to this dungeon. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we might as well try and make our way over there. So we probably have to go out this door here. Oh, God. I'm just running into their village. That's not what I wanted to do. Fuck. 
That was close. Okay, so if you go into the village, three monkey guards just spawn out of nowhere and start running at you. Let's see if I can get out of here. The gate's too heavy to move. Oh, I've been knocked back into the place. Let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, I'm out. Is this guy going to walk back or is he going to... Oh, fuck, he'll be back. All right, I have just run out of poison resistance, so... I'm probably going to need to teleport out of here if I can't find a way out quickly. Let's go, let's go. Sweet. We got out. All right. Another quick check of the map because I can't run through the big door. Maybe I don't have to go to this dungeon. Maybe it's not here because I can't seem to get out of this place. Unless I teleported out and then went all the way back. I see somewhat like just doesn't seem right. It's got a few ladders here. Whether or not these go down or up, I do not know. Let's run this way. I wonder if Karam knows. No, he hasn't said nothing. These ladders will see. Oh, there's a trap door there. But there's no way I can get into this place because it's just a monkey guard standing right there. I feel like I do have to go into that dungeon down here. There's no other exclamation mark on the map. There's this route here. Does this take you down across? You can jump across or something? Let's check it out. Oh, fuck. I've been poisoned. Oh, what's going on? Oh, I can't even go that way. Oh, that thing is level 38 and it hits 15s. So there's a dude here as well. I feel like that's going to... Yeah, like it starts screaming and stuff and then... Fuck yeah, they, they just spawn in, so I can't even go that way. Oh, what's this way? Oh, there's a trap door right there. I'm gonna make a run for it. Why not? Fuck. Get down, get down. Seems locked from the inside. Oh, fuck. Run! <laughs> okay, I'm very close to death. All right, I think we're a bit fucked here. Oh, there's another trapdoor there. Didn't see that one. I don't, we haven't got enough health to, to oh, let's fuck it. No, actually, let's not. I don't really want to die. Do we do it? Do we do it or do we not do it? Uh, I reckon we do it. Oh God, I don't think it really matters. Oh, okay, I'm dead. Actually, that was fortunate that I actually got taken back here. Good Lord. Okay, I'm teleporting out of here. Goodbye. Okay, okay, trip one. Not so successful. I would just say I'm very glad that I've not taken my grace for it because I'm definitely going to die a few times. All right, it is a bit of mission getting back, but it's not too bad. Um, so we're here now. I am going to travel to Lundo, and I'm going to go down the dungeon entrance because it says I have to be underneath Apatol, so there's no other ladder that I could find. It has to be this one, in my opinion, to find this mage. I'm going to wait for my run energy to go up to 100 before we uh, even try it, so I'll be back in a bit. All right, we are back. We have 100 energy. Let's get over to this dungeon. All right, let's leg it. Okay, there's no map for this place, which is ideal. That is not what we want, but I can't zoom out to see what way I am meant to be going, but I'm going to turn my prayer on, probably. That looks like a dead end. Yeah, it's definitely a dead end. I'm running this way. Oh, there he is. Zookna. Okay, we're, okay, we're in the right place. This is this is good news. There he is. There he is. And some other ones. Hello. Zookna tells us how the 10th squad split up into small groups to explore the island for potential gnome glider launch sites. They were overwhelmed by the surprisingly militant monkeys in the island. Some managed to escape. Others were taken captive. Zooknock and the two sappers he's with have been trying to tunnel to a cavern to the north to help the prisoners escape. He tells us that the reason that Garkor requested a human specifically is because the transformation spell only works on a human due to their closer genetic relationship to monkeys. There's two aspects to the transformation spell. Firstly, we need to be able to understand and communicate with the monkeys. This will be done by putting a spell on an authentic monkey amulet. Secondly, we need to be disguised as a monkey. This spell will be held in a monkey talisman of some kind. To make the amulet, we need a gold bar, a monkey amulet mold, and something to do with monkey speech. We're told the amulet mold should be found in the village, yet we'll not be able to just walk in and buy one. For something to do with monkey speech, we're simply told to think of something, so that's helpful. Now for the talisman. Zooknot tells us that we need to gather some monkey remains as well as an authentic monkey talisman. He tells us the type of remains will affect the type of monkey we become. Again, he tells us the talisman itself should be found somewhere in the village. Finding all of these items will allow me to become a monkey and continue the mission. Let's go. Let's have a quick look here. There's a scimitar shop, a general store. That's it. But there was a couple of stalls around here, so maybe it's one of these stalls. Either way, we have to make our way back, and I can't be bothered to walk all the way back through, so I'm probably just going to teleport out of here, and then run all the way back. I think that's probably the best bet in it. What is that in the distance? A wall of flame. Good lord. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get out of here and start making our way back. So just before we head back to the island, I am going to try and kill a monkey on Karamja, I think, because... 
I need monkey remains, and as far as I'm aware, the monkeys on the island all seem to be incredibly high level. Whereas there's, I think there's just some monkeys that exist just over on the other side of this volcano, and they're like level two. I feel like that's a much easier way for me to get monkey remains, but I might have made up the fact that there were monkeys here. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, there they go. Okay, cool. I can see them. All right, let's kill one of these. Nice, and uh, we've got monkey bones. Okay, cool, so we have the bones. I need a gold bar, an amulet mold, something to do with monkey speech, still don't know what that is. Uh, a monkey talisman, again, don't know what that is. Monkey remains, so I've got the monkey remains, I've got the gold bar, so let's head back to the island and see if we can make any progress on the amulet mold or the speech or the talisman. That's what we're needing right now. And we are back. All right, so from here, I can get a bit of a lay of the land. There's some crafting materials in here. There is a bamboo desk over there, a bamboo desk over there, a scimitar stool, a general stool, and a magic stool. The magic stool is probably gonna have the amulet or whatever it is, or the speaking thing, I can't remember. This crafting one might have, oh, that might actually have a amulet mold. Yeah, that would definitely have an amulet mold, the crafting stool. Okay, so I think we have to hit the crafting stool first, which we can just take a little route around the back here. That should be fairly straightforward to get in. And then we come running back out into the grass and hopefully the three monkeys don't spawn. And then I think we next would try a monkey talisman. I reckon a talisman's got to be from the magic store, right? That makes sense. And I think we then need the speaking one, which that is something I have no idea about. Maybe the general store. But I think first off, let's get out of the jail. Okay, uh, so we're trying to get this crafting store first off. This guy's looking at me. I'm going to pray. I'm going to run in here. Go, go, go. I don't know how long I get. You can't steal during combat. Oh, fuck, it's this little rat. Go, go, go. Ring mold, I don't need that. I need an amulet mold. Okay, I think I'm safe in here now. Necklace mold, necklace mold again. Yeah, what about this person? What can you do? Fuck. Oh, bollocks. Okay, right, so I can't talk to that person because they just call for the guards. Oh, can I get out quickly? I might be able to. Oh, that was fucking close. Right, let's try that again. I'm convinced that this will eventually drop it. I just need to be patient, I think. A ring mold again. Um, okay, let's keep going. Again, a ring mold, a necklace mold. Ugh, I'm starting to think this might not be the right thing to be doing. Right, I've stolen quite a lot now, and I've still not got a necklace mold, a monkey amulet mold even. So I'm starting to think that this isn't the correct thing to do. Okay, so this doesn't look right, so let's try the, uh, the magic stall over there. Where is it? It was somewhere all the way over there, maybe? Let's try and run over there and see if we can get anything out of that one. This one here magic store 65 thieving okay that's not right either there's a trap door there there's a general store doesn't look like i can get in that door there's a ladder oh there's a door over there good lord these scorpions do damage can i get in no sleeping monkey i have no idea what to do here i'm gonna maybe make a run for this general store I, mean, I can go in here oh fucking hell maybe i can get onto the roofs or something because there's a lot of ladders here that kind of take you up and down different places these scorpions do so much damage can someone explain to me why they're level 38 Oh fuck, I've gone the wrong way. This is the way I wanted to go. I'm gonna run past this dude. Fuck you. Oh fuck. Oh man, okay, I ain't got a clue where to go. I didn't see a route up there. Maybe I was wrong. Maybe there is one. What's this way here? Anything there? Doesn't look like it. I can't see any trap doors here. Oh, there's a ladder though. Maybe I can run around here. Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's a hole in the wall there. Maybe I can run that way and go up this ladder. Okay, that's what we're trying next. Let's climb up this ladder. Okay, okay. Yeah, this looks more promising. Uh, so we've got another ladder there. Oh, there's a little archer over there. Let's climb up again. Doesn't seem to be anything up here. Oh, what's that? A bamboo desk, okay. Not helpful. So I do think we need to probably get across there. For the next 21 minutes, I spent it running around this island with no idea where to go. I tried stealing bananas, searching crates, searching bookcases, trying to go down trap doors, everything. The end result, nothing. I ended up with none of the items that I needed. There was some positives though. I spent so long running around this place, I felt like I knew it like the back of my hand, despite the obvious one door that I missed that the editing version of me can now see, but somehow at the time, I completely missed. I discovered an underground area of zombie monkeys and the walls of flame that I'd seen from a distance, and now knew the rooftop route well. I'd also found an altar to recharge my prayer in what seems to be some sort of monkey monastery. Ultimately though, I was no closer to my goal. There's a ladder all the way over there. What that is. Oh, this guy starts screaming when I go over this way, innit? Yeah, there we go. Can I take this ladder? I can. And I'm just back at the start, and I've got nothing to show for it. Oh my god. 
Oh, this is fucking horrible, man. Right, we are back. Round two. Still haven't got a clue where I'm going or what I'm doing. So there's not much else we can do other than go in, get captured again, and uh, walk around, explore a little bit more. I don't really know what else there is to look at. I've been in every build. I haven't been down that trap door. That's one place I haven't been. Oh, fucking get out. All right, let's stand here for a second and just try and get a little bit of a... There's a, there's a child here. I wonder if I could talk to that child or something. I've got, a, I've got... I'm tempted just to try and leg it into there, but I feel like I've already tried that. I just can't remember. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. We can go around the back. And then, is there a gap in the fence? See, there's a dude there, sleeping monkey. There's no gap in that fence, actually. Oh, there's a door. There's a door at the back. Tell me I can't... That is the noise of someone who just spent 20 minutes walking around this island and somehow completely missed this door. Right, I could go through it the whole time. That's a trap from the... Okay, cool. Okay, though, I can get into that bit. I wonder if I can climb... What does this guy do? Oh, is he going to come and kill him? Is he going to assassinate him? Yeah, he does! That's fucking sick. What a ninja. Oh! Wait, what? Is that? Okay, I don't know. I thought, I thought that was a talisman. I want to pick those up, though. Medium ninja monkey bones. Right, I'm gonna now walk up this ladder here. Oh, actually, these are all crates. Maybe, I, maybe what I need is in here. Crates full of bananas. I'm gonna keep searching all these. I think I have to, really. Full of tinder boxes. Oh, hello. You find a hole in the floor under the crate. All you can see is the faint glimmer of light from extremely far below. Would you like to go down? Yes. All right, I'm lowering myself into a hole. Where the fuck am I? You find yourself in a large cavern. Okay. Well, let's get searching. Guess I'm going to have to search all of these boxes. Iron scimitars. Uh, I don't feel like they'd make me search every single box in here, would they? So all I'm finding is chisels so far. Hmm, crafting thread, though. That was different. Tinder boxes. Ah! Oh! Monkey amulet molds. Yes, take one. Okay, cool. Oh my god, so they did expect me to search every single one in here. Okay, cool. Let's go around and search everything. I'm quite aware that I'm not really keeping track of what I've searched and what I haven't searched, which is not ideal. Slimy gnome eyes? What the fuck? What is that about? So the monkeys are against the gnomes? It's a gloff. I don't know. Right, I think I've searched every crate in this room now. I'm going to head this way. See if I can get this where this climbing rope goes. Probably going to end up in the room next door. Yes, there. Okay. Can I go back down now? I cannot go back down. That is not ideal. Right, let's run. Okay, can I get out of this door here? The door is locked. I need to get out of here. I'm going to probably just run. Oh, fucking hell. I can't. I can't even get out. I have to go all the way back around. Well, that's annoying. Oh, and you can just attack me through the wall, can you? All right, I think I know my way back. Right, so now, thing is, I know that these might actually have some stuff in there that I need to search for. So I didn't do all of these. So I think I'm going to go through and search all these boxes now. Oh, that's the hole. Yeah, forgot about that. It's crafting thread. Oh, these spiders are so fucking annoying. Oh, what's this? Yeah, we go. Uh, magical monkey talking dentures. Perfect. That's exactly what we need, right? Um, and now let's try and get to the other side of the room without this guy spotting us. Okay, there's one last crate here. He fell asleep a second ago. I think I need to wait for him to sleep and then search this crate. And maybe I'll get the talisman from it. This guy should go to sleep any second now. Come on, mate. He was definitely asleep before. And he's called Sleeping Monkey. I'm going to run for it and see if I can do it. Iron scimitars. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that doesn't actually have it. Right, so I still need the talisman from somewhere. Where would I get a talisman? <sighs> it's part of me that thinks maybe I didn't search every crate in the bottom down here. I can't be asked to do it all again, but I might have to. Maybe it's like a talisman on a graveyard or something, like a little peace offering type thing. Every time I go over there, though, I just get fucked up by that monkey dude. Yeah, it's happening. Here they come. Just try and run away from him. All right, I got away. Um, so I couldn't see anything there. There's no crates in there. I've already been in there. I can't actually run into this place. Because I know that it's safe now. Let's have a little proper look around. Can't see any sort of talisman I get. Maybe I'll kill one of these guards? I doubt it. Maybe one of these little magic dudes would have a talisman on them. Looks like a priest. Yeah, it would, would make sense. But how would I get it off him? Give him a banana. Maybe I can use a banana on one of these guys and they'll give me a little talisman or something. Let's grab some bananas. Alright, I've got some bananas. Let's head back and see if we can give these bananas to... Oh, fuck. That priest. I mean would be a very strange transaction for them to just be like, oh yeah, here you go, have this. So, I don't think it's going to do anything. Nothing interesting happens. Um, 
Right, what next? What next? What next? Try and go to the, the main priest. He didn't attack me when I went there last time. No. Nope. Maybe use it on a monkey statue here? Nope. Maybe this monkey child will give it to me for some reason. I'll give it a banana to play with. You cannot understand what it's saying. What about a monkey dench? Just use that on it. Oh, this is interesting. This is actually interesting. Oh god, what's going on? The answer just come out. Oh fuck. Oh, you prick. 15 times have I been. Is that actually true? That's embarrassing if it is. Um. Um. Oh, yeah. um right, well, I think I'm gonna have to go back down here and just literally try searching all the crates again. Because I feel like maybe, maybe I've missed one. If I've missed one, it could have the talisman in it. So what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to go from right to left, really strategically go across every single box in this room. There's nothing else to it, so let's get started. Right, okay, there's definitely none in here. I just searched every single crate again, and definitely, definitely no talismans. I haven't got a clue what to do. After this, I spent the next 40 minutes running around this island, searching a couple of final crates I thought I might have missed, and theorising about where to get this talisman. I also tried to kill a big gorilla in the monastery, but ultimately nothing that I tried worked out. Right, at this point, I've got absolutely no idea what to do. Um, I need to take a break, because this is just fucking killing me. I've been at this for like two and a half hours. I'm trying to get these three items, and I've only got two of them, and I don't know how to get a talisman, and I'm fed up, so I'll be back in a bit. Right, we are back. It is a new day, and I think I think I have a plan. So we actually have all the items required to make the monkey amulet. We cannot make the thing that turns me into a monkey because I haven't got a talisman. But I have a gold bar, I have an amulet mold, and I have something to do with monkey speech being the dentures. So my thought process is this: this little monkey child has a little like the 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 aunt and the uncle. This one here comes in and out of this little pen. This monkey child does not attack me. I can talk to it, but I don't know what it's saying. I have a feeling that I. I need to talk to this monkey child to understand something about where the talisman might be because why else would this arm be on like a little walking loop where she walks out and stays out for a while lets me talk to like gives me a chance to talk to this little child and it just feels like I this this little child has something to do with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take what I have down to mage Zooknock and hopefully he can make me the amulet separately to when he makes me the talisman so that I can just come back in here pop the amulet on and talk to the child no idea if that is in any way the right thing to be doing but I've got no other ideas, so let's give it a go. Uh, what do I need for the monkey amulet? Gold bar, a monkey amulet, and something to do monkey speech. Right, I've got it all. Okay, maybe I can use it on him. Here we go. Hand in the gold bar. We still need the monkey amulet mold and something to do monkey speech with. Right, let's give him the dentures. There we go. Right, let's stick that on him. Good work. Now listen closely, human. I'll cast a spell to enchant this gold bar with the power containing these monkey dentures. You must then smith the gold using the monkey amulet mold. However, unless you do this in a place of religious significance to the monkeys, the spirits contained will likely depart. Where do I find a place with religious significance to the monkeys? Somewhere in the village, it ought to be obvious. Right, I think I know where to go with this actually already. And you bet the gold bar and the monkey amulet mold. I think it's probably going to be either the fire that, you know, the, on the right hand side of the island, there's that place with the priests. It's probably going to be the fire there. There, or potentially that massive rock that you can't walk to and maybe I should have brought some boots. I'm gonna need something to string it though, aren't I? Probably. I need a ball of wool, I think it is, that you need to use. Have I got any in the bank? No, fuck. Right, let's grab some shears and head to Lumbridge, I guess. Right, got the wool. Let's go and spin that into some balls of wool. Right, we've got a ball of wool, so I think that's what you need to string an amulet. Can't quite remember off the top of my head, but I'm pretty sure I've done it before. All right, we are back again. I have no energy, so I'm gonna stand here for a little while uh, and wait for that to get to 100. I honestly think doing underground pass so early on in this count was just the best thing I could have done because it has made me immune to the pain that is walking back to certain places. Like, I've had to teleport out of this island and walk back here maybe like six or seven times now. And it's so nice, like, I just, I don't care because it's so much quicker than the underground pass was. Ever having to leave that place and go back through, it was like a 10, 15 minute journey. This took like two minutes to get back here every time. It just doesn't phase me, but um, yeah, I'm gonna wait for some energy. Once I got the energy, I'm gonna run down underneath the uh, the kind of monastery area on the right hand side of the island, and uh, hopefully we can get this monkey amulet, and then I can speak to that little child and see if it sorts me out. So we'll be back in a bit. Right, we're back. 100 energy. Let's go. Let's make it to the priests. Let's get this amulet made. Right, so I've got a choice. I don't know if it's this fire that I'm meant to put it in or if it's the rock somewhere else that I've actually now forgotten where that is. Oh, it's down here, I think. Exit. Uh, I might run this fire first. Does that make sense? Wall of flame. 
Yes, it fucking worked. Okay, it was a fire. All right, climb up rope. Let's get out of here. Okay, cool. I've got the monkey speak amulet. Now we do this on this. Yes, we have a monkey speak amulet. It makes us like ook sound. All right, let's pop that on. And we should now be able to talk to the monkeys. Right, now I've got that. It's time for part two of the plan, which is talking to that little gnome child. Wait, monkey child, not a gnome. The aunt doesn't seem to be here. Let's talk to it. Hello there, little monkey. Oh god, it's coming. Oh no, it's not. I think I was a bit premature to run away there. Is it gonna come out? Yeah, here she comes. Right, let's leave. Wait for her to leave. Right, she's gone. Right, let's talk to the child. Auntie told me not to talk to strangers. I'm not a stranger. You look strange to me. And that is that. That's the end of that conversation. Right, so that was a complete waste of time. That is not who I'm meant to talk to. I think that's like the only person I can actually talk to that doesn't kick off as soon as I start talking to them. I, although, I'm wondering now if I have this amulet. Can I talk to some of the traders and the general store people? Maybe I should start by talking to the magic guy, the talisman dude. Well, not talisman dude, the, the trinkets dude over here, maybe? I think I'm going to try that. This guy here, he's going to, he might kick off, but I'm going to talk to him anyway. Fuck, yeah, it's, he's kicked off. So he calls the guards straight away. Who else can I talk to that isn't going to kick off? I thought the child is probably the only person I thought I could talk to. Maybe I can talk to the priest now. That was someone that I could talk to and they didn't kick off. The priest over here. Yeah, let's give that a go. All right, this dude here. Let's talk to him. Here we go. Don't know what you think you're doing here, but I know that you won't live long enough to leave this place. Okay. That's not who we want to talk to. Maybe it is the ones downstairs. Let's go talk to them. Mizaru. What's going on? Okay, I can't do it. I'm getting attacked. Maybe I need to like lure them around this wall so I can talk to them. Do a bit of a maneuvering here. Get this guy. There we go. And then pull him over here. There we go. And then around. Skills. Yeah, look at that. Right, let's talk to this guy. What's going on? Human scary, go away. Okay, nothing there. Uh, what's going on? Oh, fuck. Yeah, okay. So that doesn't work either. I wonder if I can talk to the guard through the thing now. I feel like as soon as I try and talk to him, he's going to punch me back, isn't he? Yep. So what the fuck do I do now then? So I was just looking through the quest log and surprisingly this monkey child is like an entry. So look, after I talked to him, it says I found a child and for some reason it doesn't seem afraid of me. Must be careful talking to it however as his aunt keeps a close watch. So maybe that is still part of it. Maybe, maybe I need to talk to it a couple of times. Let me go back down. Let's talk to it again. Hello again. You're strange. Go away. I'm not a stranger. Then what are you? Here we go. I'm a monkey's brother. Don't have any brothers. Okay, that didn't work. Let's try again. I'm your sister's mother. Don't have any sisters. Okay. Oh, aunt's coming. Get out. All right, so it's not a sister. Uh, I'm just a monkey lover. All right, you told me not to talk to monkey lovers. Okay, not that. Well, I'll be monkey's uncle. You do look like my uncle. Okay, cool. So I'm an uncle. I need to leave again. Here comes the aunt. So I seem to be making some sort of progress with this monkey. So I have no idea if it has anything to do with the talisman, but you look a lot bigger than last time. Eating a lot more bananas, just like you should be. I'm bored. Why are you bored? Auntie told me to pick loads of bananas. She said if I got a banana, she'd give me a new toy. Here we go. What kind of toy did Auntie say she'd give you? Something with a magic shop. This has got to be it. This has got to be a talisman, right? Uh, okay, so we need to give it bananas. How many bananas did Auntie want? 20. 20? Fucking hell, it's very mean of her, isn't it? Okay, do you want me to get the bananas? Yeah, okay. Only Philip is probably... Oh, fucking hell, it comes the Auntie again. Right, so it looks like we can definitely get... This is definitely, definitely the talisman. It has to be. Let's wait for the Auntie to go again. I need to get 20 bananas, apparently. Don't know if I need to do it all in one inventory. I hope not. Sweet. So what if I just give this to this? That doesn't like 20. Okay, I need to do 20 in one inventory. So I probably need to drop everything in my inventory and then really quickly grab all the bananas and then run back and pick it all up again it's gonna have to be very quick for me to do this so i need to drop all of this and then fill it up with bananas let's get dropping now i think these stay on the ground for like a minute we should be able to pick that all back up come on get out get out of the way I need to be quick come on let's go let's go let's grab 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 okay okay we've got them all use it on there Hello there, that's a lot of bananas. Yep, 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 yep. All right, cool. Let's go grab our stuff. That's clean. Okay, nice. Wow, I'm actually surprised I did that without losing anything. Right. Okay, so we now, I think we need to wait for her to go and do one more loop again. And then I think we should get the talisman off this little baby. I want to give you the new toy. Yeah, it's really neat. Can I borrow it then? Only, only just got it. Please. Okay then. Come on. Yes, some kind of talisman. Let's go. Right, get the fuck out of here. Right, we have the monkey talisman. We have the bones. Let's just double check. That is all we need. I borrowed a magical monkey talisman from the monkey child. I need talisman and monkey remains. Let's go. That took straight up, like maybe like three hours. I think I've been here just walking around, searching boxes. Let's fucking go. Monkey talisman. Right, now we need to head back to the mage. And for that, I'm probably just going to teleport out because I need like, a bunch of energy potions. So let's just go back to the bank, get some prayer back. And we can make one last run, hopefully to the mage, to get our talisman imbued or whatever. And then I can just turn into a monkey and be safe on the island. All right, here we are. Been standing here for the last 10 minutes, waiting for our run to go up. Just about to hit 99. Right, let's go to the mage. 
Right, here we are. Back here. Use that on you. You hand him the monkey talisman. Nice. Monkey remains. You oh, almost buried him. Fucking hell, that's close. Use the ninja monkey bones on this dude. Excellent. Bear with me, human. I'm now cast an extremely powerful spell. It's not often we're successful in investing shape-shifting powers within objects. Hand you back the talisman. It seems to glow slightly. I'm afraid I've not been able to fully invest my powers in the talisman. You may use it, but it will continue to draw its energy directly from me. The range at which I'll be able to sustain it is limited. I cannot ensure it will be effective off the attack. Toll. Okay, that's fine. Furthermore, you will not be able to attack whilst using this, so be careful. Perhaps when I refine my spells, I could look into making this possible. Meanwhile, somewhere far below the Aper Toll. Here we go. Oh, shit. Karanok and Wadar are working together. It's good of you to meet me, Wadar. It's good to see you again, Karanok. How have you been keeping yourself occupied? I'm now Flight Commander. My duties include testing Gloff's prototype military glider. Now what of the human? Just somebody Nano appears to have taken a fancy to. It's hard to tell why. I expect the human was involved in Gloff's fall from grace. You may be right. Never mind. There are greater matters afoot. With Gloff gone, it falls to us to continue his plans. Fucking knew it. I see. What do you have in mind? Money for me, Wader. And a promotion for you. As you know, the 10th squad of the Royal Guard are slightly worse for wear on this island. This I know. But I don't see how it leads to money or promotion. What if they were to die? Jesus Christ. Blame it on the humans. Nano would be furious. Precisely, he might even order an invasion. At very least, he'll, set up, he'll step up the defence. More orders for me, promotion for you. It might also serve us well to remind Nano of Bolrun's situation. Bolrun, King Bolrun, he's the one, yeah. All that trouble with the Khazar. Last I heard, Bolrun and retrieved the orbs of protection, that was me. Apparently some human lent their assistance. That was me. Nevertheless, it will stroke fires of worry. After all, the battle still continues. I agree, anyhow. We don't want your human wondering as to your whereabouts. When the time is right, don't hesitate to dispose of it. Bloody hell. Military gliders are, after all, an untested form of transport. and try and kill me in a flight thing. Right. Monkey Manor Chapter 3, in which our hero finds himself contending with life as a monkey. We are a monkey. Look at us go. Look at us go. Look like a ninja. It's worth noting at this point that I chose to use the ninja monkey bones on the talisman for no other reason than I wanted to be a ninja. I thought it'd be cool. That'll be important in about two minutes time. Can I walk through this now without getting attacked? Or do these zombies want to still attack me? No, he's not. Right, cool. I can run back. It's going to take me a little while, but it's, I think it's better to do that than to take the take the glider back because that guy sounded like he might try and kill me with the glider. Let's run all the way back through this and head into the village. We should be able to walk around freely now that we're a little monkey. I've been jailed 23 times. Fuck me. We're back at the end. I wonder if I get attacked by all the jungle like critters now or not. No, the snakes don't attack me anymore. And I should just be able to walk up to the gate right now. Yep, no one's attacking me. The monkey man's in town. I have arrived. I'm back and I'm immune. Right, now what do I actually do? I guess the first thing is I go back to the jail maybe? Talk to the guards and see if I can get these guys out. That's the whole point I'm here, isn't it? Oh, actually no, I can go back to the, the captain. That's the whole point. He told me to get the disguise, didn't he? My, my. So it knocks out done himself this time. You do look very much like a monkey now. However, you look like the wrong sort of monkey. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. My plan requires that you look like one of the monkeys of the mainland Karam. Are you? Why didn't you f tell me that? Oh! <sighs> when the time comes, you're to pretend you're an envoy from the monkeys of Karamja and that you're seeking an alliance. How do you know this will work? As I said, I've been listening to Awogi for some time now. Why the f did you not tell me that? This f***ing idiot. Oh, I'm fuming. <sighs> so what have I got to do? I've got to go and get another talisman. I've got to go... Back to Karamja. Oh, actually, I've got them in the bank, to be fair. Oh, you piss me off. That is so annoying. I've got to do it all again. I've got to run through that bloody tunnel again. Go back to the bank. I wonder if I can just buy a talisman now that I can talk to the, the magic man. Oh, you stupid little gnome. Why couldn't you just give me that information from the start? Let's trade this guy. Thousand coin. <laughs> I don't have enough. All right, let me see if I can go get one off the child. Yeah, he doesn't have one. Oh, you are... So I have to go all the way back to the bank. I have to come all the way back here. I have to come back into the village. I have to come and buy one off this stupid man. Can I sell anything to this person? No, no. Oh, the dragon scimitar. Look at that, look at that, look at that. This is so infuriating. That fucking captain gnome. Bloody bleeding, bloody useless. And obviously I'm carrying just the wrong amount of coins on me. I'm fuming with that. I just chose to be a ninja because I thought it'd be cool. And now, right, now we look like a Karamja monkey, a little mohawk. I'm going to keep both my talismans on me because I feel like this is the type of quest that I'll get there, do this Karamja monkey bit, and then they'll be like, oh yeah, now you need to look like a ninja for like no reason. Fucking guy. Right, there we go. Well done. You look just like a Karamjan monkey. Claim you're an envoy from the monkeys of Karamja and are seeking an alliance. You must win his trust 
if we're to succeed. Let's talk to this dude. I'd like to speak with Awawogi, please. Only the captain of the monkey guard or those he authorizes may enter this building. You'll need his permission to enter. Who's the captain of the monkey guard? He goes by the name of Kruk. Right, who's Kruk then? One of these lot. These are the monkey guards. It must be someone in here. Is Kruk the guy upstairs? The priest, maybe? No, that's Hafuba. Well, I don't see anyone called Kruk down here. So this guy in the middle? No, that's Padula. Maybe he's by the front door with all the other archer monkeys standing by the gate. Would make sense, wouldn't it? For him to be like guarding the gate. And it's a bunch of, oh, there he is, Kruk. Okay, cool, how do I get up there then? Can I climb up this vine? Now that I'm a monkey. Mm, only the most stealthiest, most agile monkeys. Here we go. Turn to a ninja. Yes! I knew it! I fucking knew I should have kept this on me. What did I say? This quest is going to be like, oh yeah, you need this for no reason. Oh, I'm so glad I kept that on me. I was very tempted to bank it, but I'm learning this game. Wait, how the fuck do I get on the other side of these? Oh my god, I said I'm learning this game. I've gone the wrong way anyway. I think I'm meant to be over there, aren't I? How do I do that? Oh, there's a pathway over there. Ignore everything I just said, I don't need this thing. Whoa, look at me doing backflips and stuff. Oh, just fell off. What brings you up here? I've come to seek an audience with Awogi. I'm told I need your permission to do so. That's right, you do. What business do you have on our island? I'm an envoy from the Monkeys of Karamja. I've come to propose an alliance. I see, very well. You look genuine enough. Follow me. After some brief chat with Awogi, one advisor to the king supports my claim, whilst another does not. To win their trust, I must rescue one of my kind from Ardi Zoo. Doing so will grant my allegiance with the Monkeys of the Atoll. How do I do that then? Let's talk to Garkor. Okay, you didn't tell me anything. This guy might be going down as one of the most useless NPCs. Doesn't tell me nothing. He's not giving me the correct information halfway through the quest. Don't like him. Got an upside down carrot on his chest as well. All right, anyway, we need to go to Ardi apparently. So let's go to Camelot. It's closest place, I guess. I have the monkey speak amulet on, so I can just talk to these guys. No, nope, can't do that. Let's talk to this one. Can't reach that. Can't seem to talk to any of them, which is interesting. Let's talk to the monkey minder. Hello. Okay, so that doesn't work. Let's try and talk to the monkey now. No, still can't do it. How am I meant to get this then? I can't use this, can I? Oh, I can. I thought I couldn't use it outside the atoll, but I can seem to get him. Now I need to get put back in the cage. Talk, talk to this guy. Ugh, ugh. All right, let's put you back in the cage. Now let's talk to a monkey. Hello there. How'd you like to get out of here? If you want to come, jump in my backpack. Right, cool. I've got a monkey. Right, how do I get out now? Right, I guess I have to turn back into my human self and then talk to another monkey minder. Okay, cool. There we go. Right. We have a monkey. Okay, cool, we have a monkey. So now let's head back to the island. Um, and to do that, there is a tree around here actually, isn't there? Now, I don't know if I'm gonna have to go back to Crook to get back to Awogi, Awogi or not. Um, I'm gonna try and just head straight there. Oh fuck, I've just realized the monkey's gone. Where the hell's it gone? The monkey disappears in a puff of smoke. When did that happen? Was that when I teleported using the tree? Looks like I might need to go back to Ardi. Maybe I need to walk back so the monkey doesn't escape my backpack. Right, I've got the monkey again. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. All right, this time we aren't gonna teleport. We're gonna run all the way back. Okay, so we've got back into the tree. I'm hoping that I can fly with that guy teleporting out of my backpack because otherwise that would make no sense. I wouldn't have to get back. Ah, we still got the monkey. Right, cool. Okay, so we've made it here. Turn to a monkey. And let's head back to Awawogi. Let me in. Nice, cool, we can get in. Right, I come bearing a monkey. Let's talk to the guy. Have you brought with you a captive? Yeah, I have indeed. Well done. What about the pros of lions? I must think upon it some more and discuss the matter with my advisors. We'll contact you when we are ready. Let's talk to Garkor again. Garkor tells us that our recent efforts to win the trust of Awawogi might be in vain. He informs us of a conversation between the Monkey King, Waydar, and Karanok. Karanok has convinced Awawogi to wipe out the entire 10th squadron. To do so, he's told him of Gloff's ability to summon the entire squadron to one location. He's also offering him the use of one of Gloff's pets. The combination of the two will be used to kill the entire squad. But Garkor has a plan. I'm to join them in battle and help defeat what is thrown at them. The teleportation spell is tied to the sigil that each member of the 10th squad carries. By giving me a sigil, I've now effectively become a member of the 10th squad. By wearing the sigil, I'll be teleported along with the squadron and fight alongside them. It's time to gear up for the final boss. I look fucking sick. I just get so buzzing whenever I get a chance to use this crystal bow. Uh, teleport when you're worn. Uh, I've got full prayer points. I'm a bit scared. I'm yeah, okay, let's do it. I don't know what this is going to attack me with, but I'm going to protect magic maybe to start off with, just to see. The 10th squad sigil begins to shake. Here we go. Showdown. Oh, what is this? Gorilla statue. Ready yourself, human. The final battle begins. Oh, good lord, there he is. 
Okay, it looks like it's casting magic on- Oh my god, it just did a 24. Um, I think it's using magic on me. I don't know what hit me for a 24 though. I think I'm fine. Yeah, let's fucking go. I'm doing this guy. These guys are just walking around, not doing much, I'm not gonna lie, they could help me. Oh, they are walking up and whacking it a little bit. I think that first hit, I might just not have got my prayer on quick enough. But this is actually really quite easy. I didn't realise it was just a single thing. I thought it'd be more like a bit like a jad or something where it'd switch up different attack styles. This crystal bow is doing bits. Come on, almost dead. Hey, there we go. Jungle Demon is dead. That was easy as fuck. Right, let's talk to Garkle. Well done, human. That was the most impressive display of skill. You should report to King Narnade immediately. Tell him that the 10th squad still survives and has suffered no casualties. Let's go. How's the mission going? It's been quite some time since I sent you on your way. It's over. It's finally over. What do you mean over? I mean finished. With all due respect sir, if I told you you would not believe me, I expect Sergeant Garkle will be sending you a full report soon enough. And what of my 10th squad? They're all alive. No casualties. I'm now part of the 10th squad. I even have the sigil. Appears I cannot argue with that. Garkle obviously thinks highly of you. As do I. Hey, there we go. Monkey Man as one is complete. Three quest points, access to Apatol, 10k, three diamonds and access to Darrow's training. You're now officially a member of the 10th squad. You better sign up for the training. Or training. All members of the Royal Guard must complete a mandatory training program. Talk to Dairo. Okay, cool. I think I know about that's the quest. I think that's just a bunch of XP that I get after. So let's go and get that. We are done. Monkey Man is one complete. Let's go and talk to Darrow. Nice. Whoa, fucking hell, that's a lot of XP. Here we go, 52 strength. 67 hit points, 47 defense, and way 70 combat as well. Um, right, now, one last thing I need to do, and that is get myself a dragon scimitar, and I have no idea how to do that. There was a shop, there was a scimitar shop on the island, but it had zero in stock. I don't know if that's because someone had just bought it, or if actually because that is just how it is, and I can't get it anywhere else. I'd be very surprised. Let's take out some cash, I've got loads. I reckon a dragon scimitar is not gonna be more than 200K, is it? Let's take out all my money, basically. Right, there's this guy, Dagger that was selling it last time. Oh, they're in stock. And they're 100k, that's not bad. Hey, that's... I thought I was gonna come back with the error saying you can't buy this because you're an Iron Man. Let's fucking go, Dragon Scimitar. Right, let me get out of here and put that on. Uh, let's go and stand behind here. Nice, okay. Let's check this out. Oh my God, that looks so fucking sick. Get in, look at that. Dragon Scimitar, obtained. That looks better than I remember for some reason. Why does that look so cool? Look at that. Have they done an update on this and made it look a bit different? Because it looks fucking sick. I love that. Right, there we go. Monkey Madness complete. Now it's time to become a Fremenic. Let's go.